British government paid for this? No, actually Darwin's father paid for his voyage and also paid for an assistant to come with Darwin and, and help him uh, skin the specimens and uh, prepare the crates for shipment. He worked in a little poop deck where he had all his specimens. Just about something like this. Darwin wasn't the first guy really to come up with this, right? What was his special or particular insight? He was the first to, to come up with a specific mechanism, that is natural selection. He was the first to popularize the idea of deep time, millions of years that this process involved. He was the first to popularize the idea of the tree of life in which we're related to all living things. The great geneticist Dobzhansky once said, nothing in biology makes sense without evolution. Because biology today is evolutionary biology. That's what biology is all about and has been all about since 1859. How we got here, what kind of creatures we are, how we're related to everything else in nature. It's been established. We are all part of one great tree of life, plugged into a bloodline, to a DNA that links us to every living thing on Earth. That's not metaphorical. That's literal. But soon, evidence of early man was being found in France and Spain as well. To their annoyance, the British had none. The British had no early man. The French had lots of them. The Germans had lots of them. They had Neanderthals all over the place. They had caves full of beautiful pictures. And where was the earliest Englishman? There wasn't any. Piltdown Man was a really big deal in 1912 because it was a time when very little was known of human fossil remains that were very early. And it was perceived to be the missing link, the fossil that connected humans with apes. It established our place in nature. It was the proof of Darwin's theory. Now another interesting find is this. His father said, all right, Charles, if you don't want to be a doctor, why not be a clergyman? You don't really have to believe in the faith all that much. Most clergymen don't, but don't tell your wife that. Uh, you keep it to yourself. Uh, you get invited to the best parties. You have a nice income, a nice house, and then you have all your time free for wandering around the countryside collecting beetles and birds' nests. In Argentina, he challenged the ruthless dictator, General Juan de Rojas. Darwin had to come to him and get a passport and he listed himself as Don Carlos Naturalista. And they said, Naturalista? What is this Naturalista? Oh, he said through his interpreter, a, a naturalist is a man who is interested in everything, in anything. Aha, they said, a spy. Four centuries after Columbus, it remained a mystery. No one had ever been to the top, not white men, nor the local Indians. They were afraid of it. They had all kinds of strange legends and stories about what kind of creatures might be up there, including a strange, violent race of ape men and flying pterodactyls. What was the mystery of Roraima? In the forests around London, dinosaur bones were being found for the first time, and this is before Darwin and evolution. Monsters had walked the earth right here in our little villages. Their story captivated a man who loved mysteries, the creator of Sherlock Holmes. Conan Doyle devoured the tales, the strange tales that were coming back from explorers in the late 19th century. Tales not only of the explorers, but of the Indians and the indigenous peoples were telling them of ape men that lived deep in the jungle in caves. We're telling them of giant snakes 60 and 100 feet long. We're telling them of giant footprints in the swamps, glimpses of dinosaur-like creatures, flying reptiles. And he just made that little leap of imagination. Okay, let's say they're true. Everybody run! Yeah! Some of the great stories, like The Lost World and later King Kong, did not arise from a vacuum. 
These were based on real exploits of real men, explorers who had tremendous grit, tremendous determination, and a fantastic combination of scientific interest and a romantic imagination. This is what down there on the hill, see there? There are many worlds within worlds to be discovered today, worlds within our own DNA, deep in caves, previously inaccessible places. We're finding life seven miles under the Earth's surface. There are many lost worlds still to explore.